Hello, my name is Natalie. Welcome to this introductory video. In this presentation, I will give you a quick tour of IMM, Integrated Modification Methodology. That is what IMM is. It is a scientific procedure for controlling the performance of urban systems by modifying their morphological structure. IMM is developed in the ABC Department of Politecnico di Milano. IMM is based on systems thinking. But what is systems thinking, you're asking? Well, to answer that, we should start with systems. Basically, everything around you is a system. The chair you're sitting on, your computer, even your pen and notebook are systems. According to the definition, a system is a collection of parts grouped together to serve a function. Science has always dealt with systems. There are two kinds of systems, simple systems and complex ones. Simple systems are most man-made systems, a bicycle or a computer, for example. The parts of simple systems are related together in a linear and hierarchical manner. Complex systems are natural, social, and collective economic systems. The relationship between their parts is non-linear and convoluted. For studying simple systems, analytical thinking would be enough. For complex systems, we need systems thinking too. Now tell me, what kind of a system is the city? Right, the city is a complex system. In fact, it is a complex adaptive system, which means it has the ability to adapt to changes. Any little change in the structure of the built environment provokes a chain reaction that ultimately involves all parts and changes the entire system. One important reason for cities to be so problematic, today more than ever, is that we dealt with them as a simple system while they are so complex. According to systems thinking, every system consists of parts. The structure of the system is the result of the relationships between those parts. Can you name the parts of the city? You might mention buildings, people, restaurants, even the local football team. Well, not that you are wrong, but I meant the morphological and structural parts. From a structural point of view, every city is formed out of four parts. Volume, which is basically the buildings. Voids, which are all the openings in the urban systems. Links, which are the roads and all the transit systems. And finally, the types of uses. Here come the shops, services, and all the functional destination points. Not so difficult. Huh. So what is all the fuss about? Well, the difficulty starts when they relate to each other. You might distinguish all the musical notes when you hear them singularly. But that does not make you a composer. You know what I mean. To analyze the structure of a musical piece, you should study the profound relationships between the notes. Just like the music that is in a higher dimension than its notes, the city is in a higher dimension of its building components. Again, to understand the city, you have to study the complex relationships between its parts. In IMM, we do this through the key categories. Key categories are structural attributes with which we uncover the functional mechanism of the city. So far we have identified eight key categories, but remember, it is an open list. First up is porosity. Basically, porosity is the spatial texture of the city, the relationships between volume and voids. Proximity is the next key category. With proximity, we measure how the structural elements of the urban context, like pathways and placements of different types of uses, influence the walking flow. Diversity measures the effect of different types of uses on one another, how they support each other and create nuclei of urban organisms. Additionally, how the variety of uses might influence the flow and mobility. Next up is the interface. With interface, we study how the street network influences the urban flow and directs the connectivity. It is very fun to uncover how hidden mathematical parameters affect the connectedness and integrity of street systems. Permeability is another key category that mainly deals with the street structure. However, through permeability, we look at another characteristic how the street system absorbs and redirects different forms of traffic. 
Accessibility is our next key category. As suggested by its name, it is about how accessible different parts of the city are throughout the public transit system. It is a matter of placement, integration, and fastness of the public transit system. Effectiveness is another key category related to public transportation. Effectiveness is about the capacity of the public transit system. It relates to the density of people on the move. Effectiveness reveals the potential areas for better coverage of public transit. And last but not least, the continuity. With continuity, we size the network of urban green and its influence on urban biodiversity and metabolism. All the key categories are measured through profound mathematical calculations and methodic mappings. Key categories enable us to study the structure of the built environment. For reading its performance though, we use performance indicators. For that, IMM uses an extensive list of key performance indicators, carefully curated from the scientific literature. By putting these together two important dimensions of the built environment, structure and performance, we can proceed and select the catalysts of transformation. Catalysts are the key categories that are the root of the malfunctioning of the system, the main causes of the problem. With the catalysts in our hands, we can plan for design and modification. Now we can target a better performance and try to achieve it by transforming the structure. For modification, we offer DOP, Design Ordering Principles, a set of locally sensitive principles compatible with sustainable development goals. The DOP form each time according to the local catalyst. These principles are tied together through a profound network of internal and external actions. By following the actions, one after another, the master plan takes shape. Remember, this is not the end. This is just a new state that should be tested. How? By repeating the IMM process, of course. Thank you for watching this video. Well, we only touched the surface of IMM. I encourage you to contact us for more information. We look forward to collaborating with you. Till then, goodbye.